Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to unleash the power of Divi's text module for creative list designs. This is the final design we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so right now I'm in my admin dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. Let's give this page a name. So let's just call this designs. Click on use Divi Builder. So for this example, we're going to build from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch and then we're going to choose two columns. Right. So the first thing we're going to do here is to add our text module. So I'm going to search for it just to make things easier for me. So here it is. I'm going to select it. Okay. So right now we have this uh, dummy text that comes with the text module, but we need to add our own code. So we're going to add some HTML code. So this code has all our styling. So you can find this by going to the link, which I'll leave in the comments box below. So that should take you to the article where you can copy this code. So this just makes it so it's easy for us to, um, to uh, go in and customize this rather than type all this HTML code from scratch. All right. So now that I have all this set, it should look like this. Of course, this doesn't look very exciting. So what we're going to do next is we are going to add some design onto this. So let's start off by going here to the background and clicking on the second tab, which is our gradient tab. So we're going to add some um, gradients here. So I'm going to start off with my left color. So to add our gradient, we need to click this plus button. So our first color here is going to be an RGBA value. So in order for you to enter an RGBA value in this, you need to drag this down a little bit so we can have these settings. And if you'd like to use the exact same values, I will leave a link to the post in the comments box below. All right. So now it's time to enter our second color. So I'm going to come over here again. This is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to drag the slider, paste my value between the brackets. Now it's time to go to our gradient direction. Um, by default, it's set at 180 degrees. So this needs to be at 90 degrees. And then our start position needs to be set at 25 and end position needs to be set at zero. Now you can see here we have this gray uh, in the background here. So this is now the beginning of our design. Now let's style the ordered list items. So I'm going to come over here to design text and then I'm going to click right here like that. So I'm going to start off by uh, choosing my font. So I'm going to click this drop down and search for my font. And here it is. I'm going to select it. Next, I'm going to make this bold and then I'm going to add my color. So to do that, I'm just going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my hexadecimal value for my color. So moving on, we're going to uh, set our size to 45 pixels and give this a line height of 1.6. Right. So next we're going to come over here to order list style type and then click this drop down. So the one we're going to choose is decimal leading zero. And then over here for the, uh, for the ordered list style position, we're going to set this to outside. And then for the ordered list item indent, we're going to set this to two VW. Now it's time to style the unordered list items. So I'm going to click here on the tab. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to change my font. So I'm going to click this drop down and search for my font and my font is going to be Montserrat. So here it is. I'm going to select it. And then next we're going to go to the font weight and set this to light. Now the size is a bit too big. So we're going to set this at 18 pixels. So I'm going to come over here. Okay. So what we need to do now is to choose our text color and we're going to go for a gray here. So I'm going to click here on this little icon and choose my color. So I'm going to go with this. Excellent. So next we need to set our unordered list type to none. And then we're going to come over here to the list item indent and we're going to set this to 0.01 pixels. So the next stage now is to style our H5 header. So we're going to come over here, collapse this, and then we're going to choose our heading text and we're going to go straight to our heading five. Right. So we're going to start off with the font. So we're going to click here on this drop down and my font is going to be Montserrat. So I'm just going to search for it and select it. Next, our font weight needs to be set at light. So I'm going to select it. And then we're going to make all this uppercase. Now it's time to set the color. So I'm going to come over here to this eyedropper tool and paste my, my color in here. Next, we're going to come over here to our heading five text size and we're going to set this to five VW. 
add my 5VW over here. So now we can see it's nice and big. So the next thing we need to do is to uh, make sure that we have all the sizes set for our tablet and also for our smartphone. So I'm going to click here on this little tab, click on the tablet tab and set my size to 70 pixels. And then for the smartphone, we're going to do the same and set this at 40 pixels. Great. So this looks great now. So we're going to come back over here on the desktop. So now to finish off this design, we need to add some custom padding. So let's add custom padding to the top and also the bottom. So over here on the top, I'm just going to search for padding just to uh, make it easier for me to find all these settings. So over here, because the size is going to be the same for the top and the bottom, I'm going to activate this chain and add my padding. So here we're going to add 3VW. Now for the tablet, we might as well set it here as well. So for the tablet, we're going to set 2VW. And for the smartphone, we're going to set this at 50 pixels to the left, like that. So that looks really nice on uh, all three devices. So that's great. So we can go ahead now and save settings. So for our next design, we're going to use this as our basis. So to make things easier for us, we're just going to clone this and drag it over here to the right side. So as you can see, we... Um, at number one, two, and three. So we want this side to continue at four, five, and six. So what you need to do here at the top is just to add start equals four, and the four needs to be in these brackets. So by just adding this to uh, this OL tag, it just makes this continue from four to six. So this is our final design. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. All right, so now it's time to design the second one. So to make things easy for us, again, we're going to clone this section. So I'm going to come over here to the top and click this duplicate section icon. Right, so now we have a copy over here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and design this. So for this, let's start and uh, create our gradient for the background. So I'm going to go here into my section settings, click on background, and I'm going to click the uh, second tab, click this plus button, to start adding our gradient. So the first color here is going to be white, so I'm gonna select it. My second color is going to be an RGBA value, so I'm gonna click here and drag this right slider until I get these brackets, and then I'm gonna paste my values between the brackets just like that. Okay, so moving on, we need to uh, make sure the gradient direction is set at 45 degrees, and then our start position needs to be set at 50. So I'm just going to enter 50 in here and our end position needs to be set at zero. Okay, so now that we have this, we can see here we have this design which really looks cool in the background. But we're not done yet because we need to continue and update our row settings. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. So now I'm going to go into my row settings. So I'm going to click this gear icon here, click on background. And again, we're going to go into the second tab to add our gradient. Right, so my first color is going to be an RGBA value, so I'm going to drag this slider down, and then I'm going to paste my values between the brackets, add my second color. Again, this is going to be an RGBA value, and then I'm going to paste them between the brackets, just like that. Gradient direction needs to be set at 45. Start position needs to be 25%, and end position needs to be set at zero. Great, so now we have this design here going on on the bottom here, which is great. Okay, so moving on, we need to go now to column two uh, settings. So I'm going to scroll down here until I get to column two background. And again, we're going to add some gradients. So I'm going to click the second tab, click the plus button and add my first color. RGBA value, I'm going to drag this down, paste my values between the brackets, add my right color. And this is going to be white. Column to gradient direction, 45 degrees. Start position this time is going to be at 65% and end position needs to be set at zero. The key to these background gradient designs is that they all have the same gradient direction of 45 degrees. Right, so we're done with this. Let's go ahead now and make some changes to our text module. So I'm gonna come over here and click this gear icon to go into my text module settings. So the first thing we're going to do here is to delete the background gradient. So I'm going to come over here to background and delete this. Next, we're going to, we're going to go into the unordered list font weight and change it to medium. So I'm going to come over here to design text. And then I'm going to go to my unordered list and change this from light to medium. 
Next, we're going to come over here to our font color. So I'm going to click this little eyedropper tool and I'm going to paste my RGBA value. And this needs to be between these brackets, just like that. So next, we're going to go to our ordered list. And the first thing we're going to do here is to change our font weight to regular. So I'm going to come over here, change my text color. Now, this time, this is going to be a normal hexadecimal value. Now, let's go to our headings. So I'm going to scroll down here until I get to heading text. And this is H5. So the thing, the first thing I'm going to do here is to change the font weight to thin. Because right now, it's set to regular. So I'm going to set this to thin. So I'm going to click here on this drop down, set it to thin, change the color. And this is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to drag here, paste the, paste the values between the brackets, just like that. And then I'm going to change the size. Right, so pretty much we're done with this design. So as you can see, we've gone through quite a lot of steps here. So we need to replicate all these steps over here to the right so that this, so that this is consistent. Now, you can imagine the time we're going to spend to... Uh, copy all these styles over to the right. So there's a quick way we can achieve this and this is by copying the module styles. So over here on text settings, I'm going to right click and then choose copy module styles like that. I'm going to save this and then over here on the right, I'm just going to right click and paste module styles. So now my design, which was over here on the left, has now been applied over here on the right side. Now let's go ahead and design list design number three. So this time we're going to do something different and uh, we're going to do a centered one column list. So let's start off by uh, duplicating this, save us uh, a lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And then, so in order for us to have a single column, we need to come over here to our row settings and uh, click on this little icon here because this allows us to set our column structure. So I'm going to click here and this time we're going to choose a single column. Great. So now that we have these two on top of each other, the bottom one here we don't really need. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So now let's go in and change our colors. So I'm going to go over here to my section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to set my first color here. So I'm going to paste my first color paste my second color. So now this color is going to be a normal hexadecimal value. So I'll just slide, uh, click the slider all the way up to the top and then paste my color here. And by the way, if you want to use the same exact colors that I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the tutorial in the show notes below. Great, so now that we've added this, now it's time to go to the row settings. So I'm gonna save this for now and then click here on my row settings, click on background, so I'm going to start by adding my left color. And this is going to be a normal color. So I'm just going to go in and paste my hexadecimal value just like that. So already you can see that our design is starting to take shape. Now it's time to add a new background to our text module. So I'm going to save this for now. And then I'm going to come over here to my text module. Click on the settings. Scroll all the way down. Click on background second tab, and then we're going to click this plus button to add our gradient colors. So my first color here is going to be an RGBA value. So since that is already activated, I'm just going to paste my values between the brackets, just like that. Next, I'm going to add my right color. And then we need to go now to the gradient direction. So over here, it's set at 90 degrees. So this needs to be at 45. Our start position needs to be at 75. And end position needs to be set at zero. Okay, so now let's go to the design tab and make some changes to our text. So first of all, we're going to go to our ordered list font and change this to Poppins. So I'm going to come over here to text, click on our ordered list and change the font to Poppins. I'm going to select it. So over here on the font weight, we're going to set this to heavy. Text alignment, we're going to center this. And the text size, we're going to set this at 4VW. So while we're here, we might as well set our tablet size and this is going to be at 50 pixels and then I need to go back to my desktop next we're going to set our ordered list text color so I'm going to click this eyedropper tool and paste my value in here just like that and then the ordered list style type needs to be set at decimal and for the ordered list style position this needs to be set at inside oh and there's one thing that we need to do here as well and this needs to be set at zero so this is the ordered list item indent now it's time to go to the unordered list. So I'm going to click over here on this tab, 
And over here, we need to change this from medium to light. And we're going to change the color to white. Right, so the next thing we need to do here is to set our heading text. So I'm going to scroll down, click on heading text. And first of all, we need to change this font to Leto. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So the font weight is fine as thin. So over here for the text size, we're going to set this at 6VW. And for the letter spacing, we're also going to set this at 6VW. Now, as you can see, the text color here is a bit dark in the background, so we can't really read this. So the rule of thumb here is to make sure that this is easy to read. And to do that, we're going to change this color to white just by doing that. So in this case, we don't want this to be all caps. So I'm just going to uh, disable that. And this now looks normal, which is great. So pretty much this is our final design. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, so now it's time to design our fifth design. So I'm going to come over here all the way to the top and we're going to duplicate this because this is the one that has most of the elements that we need. So I'm just going to drag this all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is to delete the background gradient. So I'm going to click here on the text settings, scroll down, go to background and delete that. Okay, I'm going to save that. We're going to do the same over here. Delete the background. And then I'm going to go ahead and save. So I'm going to come over here to my text module settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to design, click on text, and we are going to start with the uh, ordered list. So we're going to start off by changing our font to Leto. So I'm going to click here on ordered list, click this drop down, search for my font, select it. The font weight needs to be set to light. And our text color needs to be set to black. Right, so moving on, we are going to uh, set this size to 6VW. Okay, so moving on, we're going to set our ordered list uh, style type to Upper Roman. And then the ordered list item indent, we can set this to zero. Now let's head over to our headings. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to heading text. Now make sure you select H5. And also you can see you're on the right one because it gives, the, it gives you this bounding box. Right, so the first thing we need to do here is to change our heading five font and we're gonna set this to Leto. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. We're gonna set our weight to bold and we are going to also underline it. So for our underline color, I'm gonna click here on this little iPod dropper tool and the color we need here is an RGBA value. So I've just dragged the slider and then I'm gonna paste my values between the brackets, just like that. So for the underline style, right now it's set to solid, so we need to set this to double. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select double. And so for the text color here, we're gonna set this to black. And the size is going to be 40 pixels. Right, so it's time to set our custom padding. So I'm gonna come all the way here to the top and search for padding. Okay, so this time, this is going to be 3VW to the left and also to the right. So I'm going to activate my chain. So next, I'm going to come over here to this tab and delete the custom padding that we have here. So we don't need this anymore. So do the same on the smartphone as well. Just delete that. So now we need to go back over here to the desktop. So now that we have all our settings, we need to apply this same style over here to the right. So I'm going to right click over here and click on copy module styles, save this, and then over here to the right, I'm just gonna right click over here and paste my module styles. Okay, so this is our final design. So let's go through all these one more time. So this was our first one. Second design. Third design. And fourth design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.